Hey, Dan Sumner here and welcome to DanSumner.com. Now, midterm plans. We're halfway through the year. It's July. Are we on target for our plans that we all set in January with good intention? Now, I'm going to take a look at my mind map, which I created in January, and we're going to see exactly where we are within terms of creating products and being on track for the year. And if not, it's time to kick my ass. Okay, here we are. Here's our January's mind map to see exactly what my plans were for the year. And as you can see here, we have a, a short-term plan a mid-term plan and a long-term plan. Now we're going to start with a short-term plan and we'll start with these PLR monthly updates. Now I can take this off the list because it has been moved over to Clickbank. There is a new marketing strategy in place. There is a new pricing structure in place. So all of this here has been done and some. Now both Dave and I have created an extra sales funnel to go with PLR monthly so the income generated is more than what we expected so this short-term plan for PLR monthly was definitely a success now my blog update uh, yes I had a new look um, my content dropped off a little bit and I kind of stopped blogging for a while because I needed to concentrate on other things for example PLR monthly, but I'm back now and I'm concentrating more on my blog, especially more on video like you're seeing now and more on content. Uh, my domain changed to dansummer.com, which was right. Tagline, I still haven't figured one of these out, but you know, maybe one day I'll work one out. And yes, I focus more on list building with uh, the ebook cycle sign up form, which you can sign up for if you wish, if you don't have it. Now, one product coming soon. Uh, I relaunched the Bloggers Roadmap and Product Development Control. And this wasn't exactly a new product, but it was a new launch. So I'm kind of going to give myself half a tick for that. Uh, did not put the Bloggers Roadmap on Kindle. And I tried to look at the pricing structure for that. And I think the competition is just far too far too vast for me to tap into that market just right now so i kind of put this on hold uh, monthly recurring income now this is happening right at this moment it's a little bit behind so this didn't work out in the short term but online income advisor my membership site is being built as we speak and i will be launching that in the next sort of two to three weeks hopefully uh, that will be ready i moved the old membership from an EA member platform, which is a members area, to optimize press and wish list. So it's going to be a lot of stuff in there, a lot of interviews, a lot of bonuses, a lot of higher level strategies, um, more than what you see on my blog. I go in depth into things like PLR monthly over here and exactly what the sales funnels were and a lot more to add to marketing and exactly what I'm doing. So that's going to be pretty good. So I'm looking forward to that. Now, on to the midterm. Uh, niche site development. This kind of bombed. I haven't even wrote about it yet. So I kind of spent about $1,000 on Facebook trying to push my Facebook page back to my uh, niche website where that would drive traffic to Google AdSense. And it kind of didn't work. I kind of made like £3 a week. That's like $6. So... I'm kind of vastly out of pocket with that. So that was a bit of a no-no. I might revisit this in the future, but at the moment, uh, my niche site development days are on hold, as you can see. Now, mid-level coaching. I'm currently working with the guy about this. So this is going to tie in... This is going to tie in with the free ebook and this. So all of these three items here are all going to tie in together within the next couple of months. So I'm kind of working on this sales funnel, which is going to direct things back to my mid-level coaching, high-level coaching. I haven't decided on a price yet, but 
I think it's going to be around four figures. So I don't know. We'll see. Now, WordPress theme update. This is... Hold on. This here is our multi profit websites theme and this is almost done we've worked with these guys for about four months now trying to get the new multi profit websites theme up and ready and i must admit it is amazing stuff uh, both dave nicholson john thornhill and myself have been very very impressed at what these guys have turned out for us our developers are an amazing team and we're working very closely with them and I just, uh, it's, it's hard to explain because there's so much in-depth stuff to go with this new theme. It's absolutely brilliant. There are extra plugins. We've had added more plugins to this. So there's a lot of stuff being going on behind the scenes for what you see me doing, doing day to day. I've been working on a lot of stuff to do with multi-profit websites. And this is definitely, definitely on the way to being complete midterm. Now, product number two, this is almost complete. It's a... Uh, video creation product. Uh, it's on hold at the moment uh, due to another large video product that's getting launched at the moment. Now, I've no doubt that that'll be a high ticket item and somewhere in the three figure series, uh, three three figure area, uh, mine will not be, but it'll do probably the same job. I'm going to launch this in around about the end of August. So we're kind of on track with midterm. Now, long term, obviously long term, it is what it means. It means long term. So these either happen or they don't for me. At the moment, Bloggers Roadmap 2.0. I can add into that a niche site development, but I'd rather see success with some sort of niche sites than um, actual failures. And I will have to think about what I'm going to add as content to the Bloggers Roadmap because... I haven't been blogging as much as I should have, but you know, this is still on the cards. Uh, webinars are definite for me. I bought some webinar software not so long back, so this is all going to happen. And sustainable monthly income business. I recently bought, well, I was recently talking to a guy, um, I promoted this product, and it was, um, it was about solo ads, and I learned quite a lot from this guy. We spoke on Skype for about two hours on Saturday. And I'm going to be doing quite a lot of advertising. So I'm going to write about this in my blog over the coming weeks. And once I get some some free downloads and get these squeeze pages fixed up, and I'm going to show you on my blog exactly what I've been doing. So hold out for that one because it's going to be it's going to be a, a good case study to see exactly how you can generate traffic from paid solo ads rather than relying on free blog traffic and commenters. You want to sustain a business. You don't want to be relying on sort of free traffic, free traffic methods, which don't always convert. Okay, so stay tuned for this one. Now, sales funnels in place. Yes, I'm working on this. This is, I've recently deleted all my autoresponders and I'm trying to put a, a sales funnel in place which is going to increase income and build more of a list and I'm now I'm actually segregating lists and placing people in different areas but uh, I'll obviously talk about more of this later on as well so this has actually been created now create connection with like-minded people yes I've done quite a lot of this and there's a few affiliates on board and I've made a lot of new friends, attended a couple of uh, seminars this year. So yeah, I've, uh, I've met quite a few people. Now, this is ongoing. You should always, always create connections with new people. Try to build your business through others and learn from what others are doing. Like I said, a two-hour webinar right here, which I had talking to a guy called Jason Fulton. And obviously, always provide value. Always try your best. Always try your best to provide value. Now, the whole outlier of the sheet that you see there, it's kind of covered in red pen now. So I feel like a school teacher. But as far as my, my midterm plan is going, um, I would say I'm a little... A little behind and but 
I have around about six projects going on all at once. So, you know, once these all come to completion, I'm hoping, let's see, maybe it's about here. If this is the yearly timeline. If this was January, and that's January again. So I'm hoping all my short and midterm plans and some of my long-term plans will have came to fruition in around about around about August. Okay, so how are your plans going? Let me know. And hopefully you'll see the whole of this mind map by the end of this year. Well, hopefully I will see the whole of this mind map by the end of this year complete. And I will be starting a new one next year. Okay, there you have it, the midterm plan. Now, was it good? Was it bad? I think it was okay. Now, you can always expect a few curveballs to get thrown your way and a few little projects that might not go as well as you thought, a few little projects that pop up that you might not have expect expected. But still, that doesn't give you an excuse to sit back. You always need to keep pushing forward and improving on your business. So, how is your business going? How is your business plan reflecting from now compared to the one you set in January? Is it working? Is it not? Let me know in the comments below and we'll talk about it. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.